we're going to bring in our chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raddatz. If accurate, how damaging is this? Oh, it's, it's terribly jam damaging. And the thing that I keep thinking of is it's happening again. Mm. You had the Chelsea Manning, you had Edward Snowden. The CIA has to be thinking, what in the world do we do to stop these leaks and these terribly embarrassing things? Yeah. And other countries can look at this. Who's being targeted and how widespread is it? I, I, I don't think we know who's being targeted. I don't think we know how widespread it is. I think one thing you shouldn't be surprised is that the CIA wants to find out how the new technology works, especially after San Bernardino. You mm -hmm. remember they couldn't at, the, at first get into that phone because of privacy concerns. So they're going to look at all kinds of devices, but we just don't know who's targeted. As we heard from point. Brian, there's more to come. There, there's more to come. We have no idea what it is. And again, the CIA has to be thinking, who is doing this? Is it really a contractor? Is there a mole? How are they doing this? This has to freak out the CIA big. And, and also the timing of this, Brian, people are wondering. Well, there is that question, certainly after the president uh, tweeted without any proof that he was being spied on by the FBI. Now this new revelation of how the CIA spies on people. But again, in this case, the CIA does not spy on Americans. They're not allowed to illegally.